हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल पी सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस एंड टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लेपिंग लेंथ इन कॉलम सो आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस टॉपिक विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जांपल सो इट विल बी मोर इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो व्हाई व्हाट इज लेपिंग लेंथ इन व्हाई वी प्रोवाइड लेपिंग इन कॉलम्स आर इन बीम्स आर इन स्लेब्स सो बेसिकली द लेंथ ऑफ द स्टील बार इज 12 मीटर फ्रॉम द कंपनी so this is the standard length of the steel bar steel bar so what we do when we want to construct a high story building of 100 meter for example so we have to overlap our steel bars for example this is one steel bar and this is another steel bar and then we tie these steel bars in order to transfer the load from this steel bar into this steel bar so this is the first steel bar this is the second steel bar so we want to transfer the load from one to two for this reason we need to provide the lapping so this is the lapping length of the steel bar in the members so this is known as the lapping length so now what is the lapping length of the steel bars in the column so if i draw here the steel bar so this is a steel bar this is the one steel bar and i draw the another steel bar for example here so now this is the lapping length of the steel bar for the column represented by for example ll it is known as the lapping length so for example if this is the lapping here provided at the middle of the column so the standard shows that the lapping length for the column is usually equal to the 40d into 45d this is the general range for the steel bar overlapping in the columns so now d here shows the diameter of the bar diameter of the bar for example this bar so for example in our case the diameter of the bar is 12 mm so what will be the overlapping length when we overlap the 12 mm diameter bar so the overlapping length will be equal to the it will be in the range of 40d 40d means 40 into diameter of the bar which is 12 mm so it comes out to be 480 mm or it will be in the range of 45d which is this one so it will be 45 into d which is d is 12 mm again the diameter of the bar so we got here 540 mm so our overlapping length of this steel bar in the column will be in the range of 480 to 540 mm this will be the general range of the steel of the overlapping of the steel bar in the columns so this was all about the overlapping length of the steel bars in the column similarly there is a different formula for the overlapping length for the beams and slabs and also for the footing and for the column the general range is 40d to 45d this is the general range that must be provided and one another thing is that the overlapping length should not be less than the 75 mm should not be less than 75 mm in any case it should be keep kept in mind that the lapping length should always be greater than the 75 mm this is the minimum requirement for the steel bar overlapping length in column in beams or in slab the minimum length should be 75 mm it should not be less than the 75 mm here in our case it is in the range of 480 to 540 mm which is greater than the 75 but it should always be greater than the 75 mm or we can say 7.5 cm So this was all up this was all about our today lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video